hate these damn training fights. <laughs> oh. You'd like them more if you did them better. <laughs> Training, not a drunken brawl. Skill, not stupidity. And let's go again. No, that's enough for today. Now pick up all those weapons you dropped. Oh, try to hang on to this. You did no better. This isn't over. Very well. What's wrong? I hired those boys to spar with you, not to hurt you. Their skills are excellent. Aye, they know what they're doing with a sword. It's their character that has me worried. They came with questionable references. Then why use them? Because my purse is nearly empty. The need to protect the king has never been greater. One would think he would receive his... The queen. Master Robin. At your service, Your Majesty. And this must be the young Captain Reynolds. At your service, Your Majesty. I was informed that you would be using the Queen's retreat today. Your Majesty, the grounds are perfect for training. Our soldiers are training closer and closer to our living quarters. Soon there will be maneuvers in our bedchambers. Captain, come walk with me. Captain, as you are aware, the Princess Gwendolyn is to be married to the Sarsinian King Alfred. King Alfred has sent a company of his soldiers to escort the princess to their wedding. There is some question as to the integrity of the Sicilian soldiers. Mercenaries, most all of them. They're not very well trained, I'm afraid. The king is aware of that. The king has approved a plan whereby one of our highly skilled and accomplished officers and a few of his, shall we say, friends, would pose as civilians and join the Sarsinian procession. Well, I think it is a splendid plan, don't you? Your Highness, I am flattered and honored that I have been considered for such an illustrious assignment. But if I may be candid, Please, do so. To send someone of my expertise on what is no more than a chaperone's job, while the king needs me in far more dangerous regions. So you would prefer not to go? But if the king so wishes... The king will not order you to go, Captain. The king's enemies are growing, not just in their numbers but in their ruthless brutality. The princess will be vulnerable on her journey. She's going into wilderness, into lawless land. As her mother, I want the best. Your Majesty, as I recall, Master Robert spent some time in his youth in Sarsinia and has often spoken of returning. And I know that a few of my friends would be happy to tag along.
queen did have a good plan, it just didn't work. A band of mercenaries suddenly attacked, and the Sarsinian soldiers ran off with the horses. Captain Reynolds was left with a handmaiden, an ambassador, and a few dispersed members of the still loyal King's Guard, and one very cantankerous princess. Sir Gerald! Make them stop! Princesses, stop! No, no, keep going! Why have you stopped? We must stop! This is no place to stop, Your Highness. Come on, all of you, get going now! No, we are staying here. I said move, that's an order. And I command them to stay where they are. Where have you forgotten, Captain, that I am the King's daughter? I'll never forget who you are, Princess Gwendolyn. That is why you must let me do my job. Running me to death is not your job. Keeping you and your diary safe is, so please. What a fine job you have done at that, Captain. It was your future husband's army of underpaid rabble, which ran the moment these bandits attacked. Your Highness, I would have disposed of him myself. Well, obviously, Captain, I do not share your confidence. I assure you, Your Highness, before this day is over, your opinion will change. Of all the arrogant things I have oh, heard. Yes, Your Highness, but we simply must go. What about the others? They'll be along soon enough. Now, can we go? Sir Gerald, shall we? Unfortunately. Looks like the captain's been through here already. They'll have the table set before we get there. Hold up. What's wrong? I'm getting too old for this. Nonsense. We Browns just don't do running. <laughs> Are you sure you want to do this, lads? Ah! <laughs> 
I must have lost it back down the trail. Forget it! Sir! Wait! I hate that hat. Ta-da! The hat is the most important part of the uniform. You daft man, we're not in uniform. These are not King's Guard uniforms. Our mission specifically requires us to wear the hat. I hate this hat. Perfect. Hardly looks perfect. I was speaking militarily. <laughs> Come on, Adam. Gavin's got breakfast waiting for us. Hope it's sausage and fresh eggs. Oh, of course it is. And pretty maid singing love songs. Take a drink. Are you going to allow us to stop here for a moment, Captain? There'll be no more running. <laughs> wonderful news. Absolutely wonderful. Oh, thank the saints. All of them. What do you mean, Captain, there will be no more running? Here come the others. <sighs> Captain. I asked you for your intentions. Yeah, my apologies, Your Highness. We'll take them on from here. The position is right. Right for what? To rid ourselves of these troublesome bandits, of course. I should not understand. Do you intend to stand and fight them? Exactly, Your Highness. The ground is just right. Unless you are proposing to continue running. Glad you could make breakfast, gentlemen. But listen, Captain. Never dream of it, sir. Very nice views, Captain. They're the best in the neighborhood. See what fortifications you can work up. Tip over the cart. We'll use it as a redoubt. Yes, sir. Give him a hand, Adam. Yes, sir. Run away, sir. <laughs> Captain, you are not seriously trying to fight them in this pathetic ruin. It is just what we need, milady. They will have to come across open ground to get to us. We're good enough shots and have enough powder to do serious damage by the time they get here. And what if they wait until nightfall? I have no intention of giving them that much time. Princess. <laughs> the stay away from the windows. We'll be drawing fire soon enough. <sighs> Thank you. 
I should accept our invitation. Captain, too lovely a spot not to accept. I've never seen so much money in all my life. Too much, if you ask me. It brings nothing but trouble. I wouldn't mind having that kind of trouble. Don't you be getting silly ideas in your head? I may be many things, Sergeant, sir. But a thief I'm not, nor ever have been. Yes, that's true. Though the royalty behind us never believed the likes of us weren't thieves. Time for breakfast, William? Hey, gentlemen, as always on time, sir. What fool would miss the opportunity to dine with the most beautiful woman of the continent? Your Highness. And the lovely Roxanne. You foul sewage animal! Roxanne! Sorry, my lady. I do not retract my statement. Oh. 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 Sorry to be late, Captain, but it's this idiot's fault. His unprofessional behaviour is at fault, sir. Get set, they're coming! Hurry up to the windows! in its hole. Should I have them bring the horses down? No. Leave them to water and rest. We'll not be here long. Your lordship? Where are they? In that ruin there. And the princess. With her dowry. Mm. Excellent. Charge them right down the middle. Overwhelm them with your numbers. This is your plan? Your Lordship, the situation calls for that tactic. And how many men will I lose? As many as it takes. Could be a rather steep price. The dowry is more than worth it. And a handsome prize it is. And all mine. Just for letting you. Keep the pretty little princess. Come on, Talbert. Now you can tell me. Do you intend to hold her for a king's ransom? Fine. Keep your little secrets. I'm not interested in your motives. Only the dowry. Then heed my advice and charge him at once when you still have the chance. Are you trying to say? that I am not a match for a handful of King's guards. You will be more than an equal if you charge them now. We will do this my way. And then I will show you that a man doesn't have to be trained by a King's instructor to be able to outsmart his enemy. Your Lordship. Right. Do I fight like a Sarsinian? Forget the bloody hat! How many times do I have to tell you? It's not the look I'm going for. Are my boots not custom made by the finest Florentine craftsmen? It's your sense of style that is a problem. I have a great eye for style. Singbe, nobody's wearing those boots anymore. Are you two girls gonna stop arguing and help us turn over this cart? <sighs> Wait. Ready. I'm fine. Look, Captain. They are surrendering. To your position. Uh, Princess, no, please come for your safety. 
don't see any heel pieces. Be nice to have a counting. How many muskets they have? How deep their powder? Well, they might be giving us an opportunity for that. Sergeant! Sir! Get yourself ready. Yes, sir. Captain! Princess, please, remain behind the redoubt. Captain, I must know what is going on. Of course, Your Highness. First, I'm going to do a little reconnaissance. It's important to know your opponent before battle. But Captain, they are offering a white flag. Actually, it is an undergarment. Captain, are you getting smart with me? <laughs> I'm sorry, Your Highness, but it is the same. The white flag means nothing. Well, I do not see why we simply can't buy our freedom. These are the type of people motivated by greed. They just want money. Your Highness, these are men who already have death warrants on their heads. They will not honor any pact you make with them. Besides, my duty and that of my men is to deliver you and your dowry safely to the Sarsinian king, and that is what we will do. I will not bargain with murderous scum. But, Captain, you only have... four men. I have much more, Your Highness. Much more. I have four men. From the King's Guard. I also have Master Robert. Finest sword instructor in the land. Trainer of the King's Guard. We also have his able assistant, Katie McDear. Which makes six. And me, sir. Don't forget me. Yes, and Adam, though only a servant, quite handy in a fight. So, you see, your highness, we have seven. Eight, counting myself. And if any of your uh, entourage wishes to throw in, why, we would be quite a formidable okay. force. You are mad! It may be so. But still, we must get you and your diary to your wedding. What if I command you to negotiate with these men? I swore an oath to obey the king, and that exceeds any commands from you or anyone else. Sir Gerald? Yes, Your Highness. Here, please. Yes, Joe. Sir Gerald, please tell Captain Reynolds that he must obey my command. Yes, Your Highness. Uh, I mean, my lady, I'm afraid uh, he is quite within his rights. Uh, he is captain in the field and trained for this kind of thing. He's far more experienced than. Oh, you are. shut up! I will have you know. You will be severely punished for this and drummed out of the guard. That is your privilege, Your Highness. If you will excuse me, I have business to attend to. Sergeant! Captain! Get an accounting, men, muskets, you know the routine. And I do, Captain! Captain! I insist on being a part of any negotiations. There is simply too much at stake for my father and his kingdom to be left in the hands of an ambitious young officer. You could not be further from the truth, Your Highness. So you say. But I still insist on being a part of the negotiations. I told you I was not going to negotiate. Your sergeant is going out to meet them, is he not? I will not allow you to leave my side. Sir Gerald, then, will go as my emissary. I will? Sir Gerald is a bona fide representative of my future husband's family. Have it your way, my lady. Your Highness, please, I beg you, I'm not qualified for such an assignment. Well, of course you are. My lady, truthfully, I'm nothing more than a pathetic drunk. A court fop. This is not my milieu. Huh? The only reason I'm here is because your future husband, the King of Sarsenia, agreed to pay off all of my debts if I made this journey. No one else in my family would go. That is all well and done, Sir Gerald. But I must have oh. a representative to these negotiations. Oh, and as meager as your credentials may be, you are my only choice. <laughs> Wonderful day for a walk, isn't it, your lordship? What? Wonderful day for a walk. Do you not realize 
you blathering buffoon, that every musket they have is now aimed at us? Exhilarate against them, sir. Not really. Captain, your man is acting like a clown. The sergeant knows exactly what he's doing. Princess, please get your head down. Damn it, man. What am I supposed to do? Just look pompous, your lordship. You can do that, can't you? Be a representative guard. Present credentials. Give me your credentials, your lordship. Credentials? Uh, uh, credentials? Uh, uh, Sir Gerald Patrick Wainsworth, Duke of Dorchinays, first regent to the second house of Avonia, and <laughs> Earl of the Castle. Shut up, and I'll tell you what's going to happen. No, no, no. You're doing it all wrong. Haven't you ever done a negotiation before? What? You've never done a negotiation before? A white flag negotiation? A what? Says him, you fool who's never done a negotiation before. Huh? How the devil do they expect to make this work? Well, what difference does it make? What difference does it make? Blasted man, I've done 23 of them. In each of God's seasons. In all of nature's calamities. At Comsford River, Glenbrot, and the Battle of Argony. You was at Argony. Taylor's Crossing, too. Blasted all. So you see. There's a procedure to all this nonsense. There is. Come along, man. You're part of history here. There's a royal princess and kings involved. Balladeers will be writing songs about us. They will. Aye. So see, you got to follow the procedure. Well, uh, what's the right procedure? You're supposed to ask him his terms first. Tell them the terms. Yeah. What are your terms? Terms? The terms? Oh, dear. Terms. Uh, terms. Uh, uh, <coughs> terms. Uh, representative of the King of Sarsenia, who, in all of his power and wealth and wisdom, you are to lay down your weapons and leave the field at once. Those who do not obey this command will be punished, quite severely. That's it. Uh, for the moment. And now I tell him ours. No, no, no. Now you go back to your leader, and you tell him what the terms are. And then you come back. But that's a lot of walking back and forth. Tell me about it. You didn't volunteer for it, did you? Never. No one ever does. But once you do it, they keep sending you till. Good luck! Are you mad? Shut up. I'm counting. Just look pompous, remember? What do you mean, counting? Counting their men, your lordship. Procedure, your lordship. <laughs> Good God, they shot him. Yes, your lordship. Works every time if they send a novice. What happened? Sergeant has a knack for this sort of thing. But someone has been shot. One of theirs by their own. Now they have one less to charge us, and we have not even started. Oh. I see. This bandit captain of theirs is a callous fellow. It's your lordship, I would concentrate all my forces on their front wall. I did not ask for your advice, Talbot. No, your lord, you did not. Good. 
Because I have already decided what action to take. Blackwell! Yes, your lordship. You'll deliver a message. And get it right! Gates are the damned. What is it? The big fella east of the trees. Look who's joined the party. Talbot. Hey. Augustus Talbot! Curse that man to hell. Well, if it isn't old Tommy Blackwell. Lieutenant Blackwell. Still keeping company with the scum of the earth, I see. You have but one hour. Now what? Back for lunch. I believe it's mutton stew, your lordship. Mm. You got at least 40, sir. They're a rebel, all right. But not much discipline. Their captain's careless and crude. Our muskets look poorly maintained. They seem to have powder involved with what they carry. No supply wagons that I could see. That's about what we made of it from here. They have given us one hour. And then I, I think they intend to kill us all. Well, then Talbot is not in charge yet. I used to follow him too, sir. Unfortunately. How do you know he is not in charge? Talbot would never give us time. He would charge right away. Where the devil is Talbot? A traitor, sir. Most foul. Augustus Talbot, former commander of the King's Guard. Something has turned him against the King. He's betrayed the King. To his enemies, he betrayed the honor of the King's Guard. A traitor, murderous bandits. These are the men you wanted to negotiate with. I was wrong, Captain. I was terribly wrong. Yes, Your Highness. Well, do not gloat on it, Captain. No, Your Highness. Now, how are we to deal with Mr. Talbot? Same as before. We've given us time to reduce their numbers, create some dissension among their ranks. They will then either disperse or charge us. And you are confident you will defeat them? We are the King's Guard. We are the best. Sergeant. Yes, sir. Get ready, Donald, William, and, uh... Captain. Just give me a minute to warm them up. Your offer is most generous, John. You know I'm the best man for the job. You need a Sergeant Tadotto here. I'll send Donald and William first. They should give you enough time? Yes, sir. Uh, put Donald right, William left. Now, Donald. If Your Highness you kindly retire to the redoubt, we'll begin our assault. Are you going to use the Tiger Claw tactic? You know the tactic. Well, don't be so surprised, Captain. My father often spoke of it. Stirring the beast, he used to say. Yes, the king did favor it. We will swipe at Mr. Talbot's friends with three deadly claws. Very good, Captain. We may carry on now. I am so stubborn. I'm not wearing the hat. You underestimate the value of this hat. It's worthless. No, 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 it is priceless. It shields you from the sun. You can drink water from it when you are thirsty. And the plumage. Sets the ladies on fire. Very impressive. But I'm going to kill bandits, not chomp danzels. Well, you two. Stop. I give it. Captain. Yes, Donald. Do I have to wear my hat? No, you do not have to wear your hat. Thank you, sir. So there. We'll be waiting for you. I hate that hat. I'd be so much happier if you had some style. Ready? On his discretion. Dirty! 
give a rub down. It's a trick! I wanted anyone who tried to run from that ruin shut. That was my order. Why was my order not obeyed? Surely you can see this is a trick. What trick? They're trying to get more health. It will not arrive on time. That is not what they are doing. They're using a tactic called the Tiger Claw. They're using it to reduce your numbers. It is one man we're talking about. There will be others. One King's Guards with rapier could take out upwards of a dozen men in just minutes. You're a fool for these guards, man, Augustus. Maybe you should see if they'll take you back. <laughs> these men who you mock have already taken three from you since you arrived here. I tell you again, Lord Morton, charge them now. They are one man weaker. You have all of your men. I grow weary of these intrusions, Augustus. Delacruz, take three men and cut him off. And do not come back without his head. It is my tactic that will reduce his numbers. To attempt such a thing would be making a grave mistake. such a thing to me. I am the princess's lady in waiting. I am not a cheap chambermaid. Shames me to no end, Roxanne. A tramp, no less. Did you read her poetry and tell her she was your true love? Of course not. Then explain yourself. Now. There may never be another time. As you said, my lady, you are the princess's lady-in-waiting, while I am just a lowly soldier. What hopes can one such as I have that one such as yourself will not soon tire of me? Tire of you? I adore you, William. And are you? I want to give you this, for luck. But tis all I have. I may need it to buy my freedom. <laughs> have faith in me, my dear. Upon my life, no man here today shall deny you your freedom. Then take this. I'll stay your hand. I need no material object for your luck. Just the words from your lips. Bless me like a thousand pieces of jewelry. And a kiss. Chant me. William, it's done. My adoring audience awaits. for anyone who brings back his head. You see, Augustus? Patience will yield great rewards. Ah. 
Mm. They caught on to us, sir. Well, then it will be easier to get the third claw under them. Reynolds, would you help me bore him up, sir? My honor. My lunge is not too keen. Are oh. oh, you're not going. I'm sending out a... No, do not. As you've taught me, a leader's decisions must be based on reason, not emotion. The right decision is to send Katie. Katie McDear. She's fast and agile and lethal. I cannot do that. She's my daughter. What? You heard me. Katie's my daughter, my blood. No one knows for the honor of her mother. It's no wonder she's a demon with a rapier. She's been a good student. Then why send her? Because Talbot's out there. We both know what has to be done to solve this predicament. John, Katie serves your best out there. I've trained her. I know what she can do. Ready? Captain, are you sure of this? Yes, sir. so good as to get that one. It's a go! Let us go, Lord. We owe her. Fine. I use this trick. They've sent three claws from different directions. William will be the first one back. You will see, my lady. Yes, I'm sure he will. All the men, and Katie too, of course, will return. The bandits will go away. And we will be on our way to Sarsinia in the most marvelous wedding any kingdom has ever seen. No, oh, Roxanne, you are very confident. Uh, are you not? No, no. The captain is doing a very good job. I'm, he knows what he is doing. The men say he's the best. William always speaks highly of him. And he is very handsome, is he not? I have not noticed. Do you think I should get my hair done like the Duchess's? <laughs> the Duchess needs to hide her jowls. Your Highness should never hide such a beautiful face. <clears throat> Roxanne, why not go watch for your soldier friend, William? Thank you, lady. Sergeant, you may enter. Thank you, Highness. This is the best we could do, Your Highness. We always try to travel light. Oh, these will do fine. Thank you, Sergeant. My pleasure, Your Highness. Sergeant. Yes, Your Highness. Tell me about Captain Reynolds. Uh, what about, Your Highness? Well, his story, of course. Aye. 
Well, there's a story for you. I like stories very much. Yes, Your Highness, if I may. At twelve, he came to us a dirty-faced street thief. An orphan most his life. A fighter, all right. Took three constables to chain him to the prison wagon. Myself and some friends intervened. Paid his fines and put him to work in the stables at first. But he didn't stay there too long. Had a military mind. A survivor, a fighter, a winner. At 14, he was wrapping bandages of men gushing blood and loading muskets in the front lines. And you should have seen him at Argony, my lady. A mere 17-year-old leading a charge into pure hell. Excuse my language, Your Highness. No. No, please, Sergeant. Go on. There's not much more to say, Your Highness, other than this. There isn't a guardsman who wouldn't follow him. A man who has lived as much. He must think of me as such a spoiled child. Never would Captain Reynolds think of you that way, Your Highness. Don't be so sure of that, Sergeant. Does not go to the Baroness Helene's apartment in the Mussolini Quarter every Wednesday for three months last autumn. Yes, I did. How did you know? We were stationed nearby. And every Wednesday, the captain would find an excuse to patrol that sector. A blind man could see the look on his face whenever he caught sight of you. You may leave now, Sergeant. Yes, Your Highness. Gentlemen, you have nothing to fear from me. But I must warn you, there are far worse dangers in these woods for you and your dagger. I'm warning you, sir. Don't you come a step closer. I'll sheathe my sword. Better? Yes. Much better. Last sweet maiden, I've promised my heart to another. 
I do. Tea, Captain. Thank you. Any sign yet? Do not worry. We will all be back soon. Yes, I'm sure of it. How long have you been with the Princess? Uh, four years, Captain. It must be difficult serving the Princess? No. You must not misjudge the Princess. Why do you not judge the Princess? Of course you do, Captain. Do you know that she is saving our King with her marriage to the Sarsinian King? The King would never force his daughter into a marriage she did not want. You are right. He did not want her to marry a man she did not love, but she insisted. Do you remember how many ships our king lost in last winter's storm? Twelve. Half as much cargo. That is why the king's treasury is near ruin. It's a desperate situation. There was no other way. The princess's marriage will form an alliance that will save her father's crown. I did not know. Captain, please, do not tell her I've told you. Of course. the east and Julia the sun <laughs> arise fair sun and kill the envious moon by his words of love. <laughs> He's trying to upstage me, so he does this all the time. Nonsense, Adam. It is wonderful. Thank you, Your Highness. This is marvelous. <laughs> Lovely, clean hilt emerged, like the dawn, from the dark clouds. Oh, sick. 
All the maiden standings there in all her splendor, and that gallant warrior's heart rose within him as he gazed upon her. Her, her, her face glowed enchantingly, for leave was granted for cream hilt to bestow a kiss upon him. <laughs> bestow a kiss upon him. And never in all of Siegfried's life had anything so pleasant befallen him. Shush. Sight? No, not yet. The timing is right. Princess, please, prepare for fire. Gentlemen, shall we let them know we're still here? Aye. Straight on, sir! On my mark. I would not expect you to stand by and watch. Enough of this waiting. gotten through far worse. Ding day! Hey, this is jealous here. Look at him. What a mess. It could not be helped. Yeah? Now you really need the hat. I hate this hat. Oh. <coughs> <coughs> I would not return. It is dangerous business, William. Oh, yes, most perilous. Perilous? Yes, perilous. William. It was just a kiss, Roxanne. A kiss? Yes, a trifle, really, nothing. <gasps> On the battlefield, even William. Oh, Roxanne, she meant nothing. Captain, I must admit, I'm very impressed. Katie. Oh, what about Katie? Do not worry, Your Highness. Katie's a very smart lass. It's too dangerous now. She'll wait until the time is right. Worthless, scurrilous dogs! Is there not a real man among you? Morton! I told you, you are no match for the King's Guard. They have humiliated you. They have handled you like a child, and your men have suffered for it. Talmud, you badger like a woman, a dried up old hag. Ah! 
time to put an end to your blathering. If you dare! <laughs> Captain, take a look. Funny how some things never change. It looks like a domestic dispute of our favorite kind. And young Katie has gotten herself a very good view of it. Listen to me, men. Open your eyes. You have followed scum and will always be scum until you follow me. <laughs> Princess, our friend Talbot has taken over. Morton would have given you nothing. I will make you all rich men. Yeah! But remember this. The man who disobeys me once shall not live to enjoy his good fortune. The man who harms a princess shall wish he were in hell. Blades to the sky. We charge the ruin. Yeah! And 50 gold pieces for every man there to greet me. Yeah! Here comes Katie. Smart lass, like I told you. Well Kate, done, lass. Are you alright? I'm fine, but I could use a drink. Talbot's taken over. We saw. He's lighting a bonfire under their breeches, trying to fire them up to attack us. And he's quite obsessed with you, Princess. Captain, there is something that you must know. Augustus Talbot has asked my father's consent for my hand. And contrary to what some believe, my father left the decision for me. I refused the commander's request, and he's taken his vengeance out on my father. It was because of me that he turned against the king and his men. Because you refused him, he betrayed the king and the guard? It is true. It is not the dowry he wants, it is me. Captain, let me go talk to him. Never. Oh, Captain. I am not worth the lives of these brave men. On the contrary, Your Highness. You and what you stand for are worth ten times what most wars are fought over. Captain. Your Highness. Captain. Your Highness. There is not one of us here who would not give up their life to keep you from a foul human being like Augustus Talbot.
Katya. What is your first name? Uh, John, your highness. John Reynolds. Hmm. Has a very nice sound to it. I believe I'm falling in love with you, Captain John Reynolds. Captain. Sergeant. Commander Tappet is making his first move. of some sort. Of course. Commander Talbot will have a few tricks for us, but we will deal with them. Sergeant, you know what has to be done. Do not listen to me, Captain. Excuse me. Captain, your highness, but in all fairness, I am the one who should go. It's nonsense! No, it isn't. It's logic. The sergeant is needed here. No! I... You know, it is a trap, your lordship. I'm sure it is. But as I said, someone has to go. The sergeant will be needed here. What skills I have will be far better used out there. Even if they only send one, the loss will hurt them more than us. What is this? It's my very own. Never miss fires. I have very little experience with fire. Just pull the trigger, your lordship. Have a joy, son. Thank you, your lordship. Sir Gerald. Cherish kiss, my lady. Thank you, Sir Gerald. I want you to know I have been honored to have you as my escort to Sarsenia. The honor, your highness, has been entirely mine. Not spreading out, sir. Talbot is going to come right up the middle. Try to overwhelm us with his numbers. Sir Gerald Patrick Wainsworth, Duke of Dorchinese, first regent to the second house of Avonia, and Earl of the Castle Wainsworth. And emissary of his eminent Alfred, King of Sarsenia, and representative of the King's Guard, your servant, sir. Blasted man! Do not tell me you are unaware of the proper procedure. <laughs> How can they send someone who does not know the proper procedure? Ah! Oh. Ah! Ah! Let's go to the 
Princess and Roxanne behind the redoubt. No, John, we'll not leave you, sir. You serve us best at the redoubt. If any break out perimeter, we will fall back to you. You will be able to fire down on anyone who might make it inside the walls. We will leave this place together. You have my word. Go now! Talbot. Anyone see Commander Talbot? I'm there hanging back. Just like the scum. Deploy the men. Yes, sir. We need all the muskets loaded. William, sir, take left side. We do not want any uninvited guests, do we? No one without an invitation will get past me. Now, my friend.
is our destiny, Princess. Ah. Quaint. You have a protector. She's now under the protection of the King's Guard. Ah, uh, young Reynolds, the stable boy. It's Captain John Reynolds of the Tiger Claw. A stable boy? Captain of a Tiger Claw? Not possible. It's not possible that a mere stable boy and a handful of men ruined your plan, Augustus? My plan is far from ruined, Princess. It is only just beginning. Die easy, stable boy. Augustus! Ah!
Eins, zwei, drei, los! Ah! 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 I were to run away with him. Where would you go, your highness? Well, I will go with you wherever you go, my lady, as long as William does not join us. <laughs> we would go wherever Captain Reynolds wanted us to go. Excuse me, your highness. It is my belief that Captain Reynolds would never agree to break his oath of allegiance to the king, your father. Even for a matter of the heart? Like death, in a matter of the heart. No man knows how he will act until the time comes. Oh, I believe I know what Captain Reynolds would do. That may be so, Your Highness. But if you truly love him, then first consider what kind of life your captain will have if you choose to break your vow of betrothal to the Sarcinian king. Oh, yes. It would be terrible. Oh, just terrible for him. At least for now. But we are very young, and much will change. Your Highness, we must be on our way. The sun will be setting soon. Of course, Captain. On to Sarsinia! You sure this will not be our last adventure? Six months after his marriage to Gwendolyn, the Sarsinian king was felled in a bizarre hunting accident. Princess Gwendolyn asked her father for the services of Captain Reynolds to console and protect her. They now have four children. Don't be getting saucy now, love. It was just a kiss. Just. A kiss. Yes. Lady Roxanne decided to give William just one last chance, which he promptly betrayed. Three chances and three betrayals later, they finally wed, and William never strayed again. She, on the other hand... How's the roast beef in Sarsinia? Oh, splendid. Absolutely splendid. Especially with stewed potato. And a little bit of grog, sir. Of course. The sergeant and Lord Gerald went on to become the most powerful negotiating team Europe had ever seen. After retiring, they opened a restaurant that sold the tastiest Yorkshire pudding this side of Sarsinia. And pie, sir. Don't forget pie. Of course not. We must have pie. Apple, I think. I am proud of you, Katie. You've done better than any man I've ever trained. Master Robert opened a prestigious fencing school in Scotland, training Highlanders. Much to his joy and despair, Katie became the first female member of the King's Guard. She acquitted herself with great honor, even though the Guardsman's locker room was not quite equipped for her arrival. Thank you, Daddy. Ruined. The entire outfit is ruined. Not much of an outfit in the first place. It has no style. This time I select one for you. I have style. And finally, Otto and Donald continued to fight about clothing, accessories, furnishings, and all matters of style. They never agreed on anything but succeeded in opening a small haberdashery where they invented the tie. So if you are ever stuck wearing one, blame them. Did you get stabbed in the head? I've seen dead Prussians with more style than you. Charge them right down the middle. Overwhelm them with your numbers. That's Charge them at once. Overwhelm them with... Uh, blah, blah, me. God, here we go. Char charge them up the <coughs> middle. What's my line? Here that comes, sweet princess. If I could just run my dialogue earlier, we'd be home free. But I f***ed it up. Help! What do I say? No, after that, so you will... No. Stop! Can, us, Can anybody hear me? Get back! Get back, don't you see? It's a trick. Let me do that again. I felt so hysterical. They're trying to get more help. It will not arrive on time. Not a mistake. It's a trick. I f***ed up. <laughs> you said mistake. I said mistake. I thought it was going good. And join the Sicilian. Sarsinian. These men who you mock. They have already taken three from you since you arrived. Pa, 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 pa. Give me a cue again. That is not what they are doing. They, uh, can we go again? One king's guardsman with a rapier can take out upwards of a dozen men. I'm going to say that again. Give me that cue, would you? <laughs> there will be others. One king's guardsman with a rapier can take out upwards of a dozen men in just minutes. 
That got garbly, too. Let's go again. There will be others. One king's guardsman with a rapier. One king's guardsman. One more time. One king's guardsman with a rapier. I can take that off. Oh, God Let's cut the camera. Deploy the men. Oh, it's too late. <laughs> I feel very silly here. Let me try to get, let me try to get yeah, something going. That's a better one. Okay. I'll forget what I'm doing. I had such a sham mess up an hourglass. And your men have suffered for it. I'm doing that again. Here we go. Keep that rolling. They have humiliated you. They have handled you like a woman. And your men have suffered for it. <laughs> like a woman. Like a child. Hold on. Oh my God. Uh, this reason you are... Uh, I'm going to go away now because I don't want to... <laughs> what a mess. It could not be helped. I f***ed up again. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Scene. <laughs> well, I'll slice that pretty face of yours, even if it's the last time. I'll fucking talk, I'll be rich. My plan is far from ruined, princess. Ah, sh**. Go push him back into this light for, for the dialogue. I don't know what you're saying, but I'll, I'll try. Okay. Ready? And action! Ooh. 